Okay, welcome to this tutorial on Scrapebox. What we're going to do today is just go over a few basics that I use so that you can get to using Scrapebox right now, immediately. Okay, I want to show you the project that I'm currently working on, uh, designerspick.com. You can see it's got a global Alexa rank of a 1,596,788. Uh, it's ranked almost 280,000 in the U.S. The lower the number, the better the website. Uh, the important part about this is this. So far I've got 2,578 sites linking in. My goal is 100,000. Uh, and so I am trying to build page rank um, from blogs um, related to the photography niche. Uh, building this website, actually it's finished now for my client. And so... Um, one of the deals that I made him is was I would pr I promised him I'd get him a page rank between three and four within ninety days. So let's get started. Okay, here is scrape box. Real quick. I've already done the hard work. I've already harvested proxies. I've already f created me a URL list. I've already done it using keywords, but I'm going to show you how to do this yourself so that you don't go into this blindfolded. Click Manage on your proxies. Click Harvest Proxies. Start. You'll see these numbers explode right here. Okay? You want to click Apply. It will then apply them to your proxy manager list. As soon as that's done swirling. Okay, now you would click test all proxies. Now it takes a while, but I would want to keep only the Google Past proxies. See, I've already got one in the list here. I like to start with at least 50 proxies per 10,000 URLs in my blog commenting list. Uh, usually works pretty well. Uh, I'm not going to show you the entire testing pro uh, process because it's just it's pretty simple. Here's your your Google Past Proxies number. When that gets to about between 50 and 60 per 10,000 uh, URLs in your blog commenting list, you want to click abort, okay? Which will be which will be this button here, which will be the only one highlighted that you can actually push when it's testing. Go to filter, keep Google Proxies. There's the Google Proxies we just had. Then you click save to a text file. Just remember where you saved it. I've already got my proxies. Here's the keywords I used, which are related to the stock photography niche for the website I just showed you. Okay, I use, I'm, I'm only searching for WordPress blogs. And I always click this option. You can leave a response or track back. So any blog related to these keywords that have you can leave a response or a track back will be harvested once they are harvested uh, they'll be in this window here then you can trim to root trim to the domain name if you want to comment just on the domain name you can check the page rank of the uh, URL which will be URL plus the subdomain or you can go check only the page rank of the actual root domain. Um, you can import a list, export a list, you can e uh, import, expor export the URLs and the page rank. Um, pretty simple. Um, I've already done all of those things, so I'm going to go to names, emails, websites, comments, and blog list. Now, today my blog list is on the desktop, which is right here. Okay. Now, after you've got all that loaded, I use the fast poster. I'm going to be posting to less than a thousand websites. Uh, I've got sixty. I've got sixty um, proxies um, saved. So we want to go ahead and start posting. So I click start, and it'll start posting uh, 945 websites to post to. And now that I've done that, I want to show you something while that is running. Your comments. Keep your comments as relevant to your website and your niche as you can. 
Um, make sure you comment to blogs that are related to your niche. And um, this isn't really enough comments. I'd like to use about 100 different comments um, because you don't want it to look st um, too awful spammy. Um, the more relative your comments are, the more likely it is that the uh, blog administrator will approve them. Um, emails. Scrapebox has an email address creator so that you can create a bunch of different emails. You can use, I believe you can create Gmail, Hotmail, all them different kinds. Uh, as many as possible. Names. I'm using the keywords I'm trying to rank for as my names. Websites. I'm building links to Designer's Pick and a few subdomains I've done of Designer's Pick. Uh, to build a page rank to. And of course, this is the uh, blog list that I harvested. I believe this was yesterday. I've already commented on these blogs, so... I really don't even need that list anymore. Um, for using um, Scrapebox to comment on blogs, this is going to be the, the, a folder that you visit quite a bit. Um, now when this thing gets finished posting these links to these websites, you have the option to test the, the links. You'll have an option to... Uh, comment on blogs that it thinks that you might be able to comment on, but it'll be a much slower method, and it's not kidding when it says that. It takes hours. Um, I never use that option simply because I don't have time. Um, I do sometimes use it if I'm, if I'm going to be going to bed or if I'm going to be away for uh, an entire day. I'll, let, I'll go ahead and let it run. Cool thing about Scrapebox is it uses almost zero system resources. You can see CPU usage is 0 to 1%. It's using 46% of my memory, but uh, I can still surf the web while this is going on. I can still use my computer to do other tasks, so Scrapebox really worked very well. Um, you can see when you hover over latest version, V1, 15.64, or whatever yours is, it'll t tell you what uh, Scrapebox has done to improve and fix uh, any of the problems that it's had. So Google search types added, proxy test filter by country, and right-click. Custom proxy test against any URL and check for string. Text editor, blah, 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 on down the list. So anytime you wonder what's new with Scrapebox, hover over the uh, version number and it'll tell you what's new. Um, a lot of things have changed with Scrapebox uh, over the years. And Scrapebox has done, they've gone leaps and bounds on their improvements. And it's a, it's a really cool tool to use for building page rank, building a relative page rank. See, just having a page rank of 5 or 6 isn't going to make your website a success. Having a page rank of 5 or 6 built from sites that are related to your niche is where the success rate comes from. So, uh, I can't stress how important it is to be sure that you comment to sites that are relative to yours. Now, sometimes, you know, you'll build links unknowingly to other sites. It's not going to hurt you that bad. Keep your on-site SEO in tip-top shape. And, of course, off-site SEO will be what I just talked about it earlier, which is building relevant uh, blog links from sites that are related to your niche. So, that shows you how to get started with Scrapebox. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, or if you have any uh, tips for me, please leave them in the comment list. Like and subscribe this video, and I will make you a new video very soon on some more in-depth um tips with Scrapebox. Uh, I promise that'll be within the next 30 days. Also, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. It is Christmas Day, uh, December 25th, 2012. We're going into the 2013 New Year, so I hope this, this New Year is good for you guys as it is for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.